You look cute. Come on. Come see right here. Have a seat, nice. Come here, Stanka, buddy. Come on, buddy. You can jump in the bed in the back. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so nice scared. Nice here. Come this way so I can help you. Come on, babe. You don't want to sit. You don't want to sit down. What you want to do? You want to just jump around? Yeah. Okay. You can jump. Man, mommy gonna talk. All right. What's up, angels? Um, this is our last day in DC, so um, we just left dinner and uh, decided we was gonna go live to tell you guys what happened to mommy's eye, how it happened, and also. How is she doing? Because everybody keep asking, how are you doing? How's your eye? They're worried about you, so they want to hear from you. I'm going to let her tell her story. Um, if you follow us on TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook, and you saw the post that I made with the long caption, you already know what happened. But this is for our YouTube family. We want to go live and let you guys know what happened and how it happened and how she's doing live from dc downtown washington dc at the beautiful amazing the darcy hotel so guys is on 10 right now because we just left dinner so he's just excited and ready to uh jump around so hopefully you guys can hear us the audio is good and uh go ahead and tell your story you can start with what happened how it happened your reaction like what was going through your mind you okay uh-uh, you're not going to be able to play with this right now. So let's put this right here. So, the light is kind of bright, so I might look off from time to time because my eyes are still sensitive to the light. But I was, I took a shower Thursday morning because I felt sick. And I was like, maybe if I take a shower, I could, you know, like redirect my energy. So when I got out the shower, my eye was very blurry. And I was like, okay, I got eye drop somewhere. So I was searching for it in a purse. That I had in the closet and I got out what I thought was eye drop. Niles was there, he was kinda like playing around, so I couldn't see already and I was like trying to like keep him out the way in safe space. And then I um went in the bathroom and just dropped what I thought was eye drop in my eye. And then it was burning, so I'm like, oh shit, why is it burning? You can't curse. Sorry. No I'm like, person. why is it burning? Excuse her, you guys. <laughs> and then um I closed my eye and I realized it was not eye drops, that it was Melvin. So in that moment I started to panic, but I'm not like a like a yell loud type of person. So I panicked, I called True, but I realized I wasn't even calling his name like loud enough. So I kind of ran to the living room and that's when I, the panic started to get worse. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's Mel blue in my eye. Like call 911, I'm freaking and out. I can't even remember what I was doing. Um because we was getting ready to leave for no or, no we weren't getting ready to leave for dc thursday night but no we were getting ready to go to bed because we had to go no, shopping we were getting ready to take your hair down oh yeah 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 you was gonna take my hair down because i had to get a my hair done the next day so right. that's what we were about to do but it was kind of winding down towards the end of the night right but that's why i went to take a shower because i wasn't feeling good yeah and so i'm in the front with nas just now it's going whatever. back and forth between right. the front room and the back room. So. And then you came in like, you know, frantic, called 911. I think I just put nail glue in my eye. And in my mind, I'm like, what the? Like, how did that happen? Like, obviously, but I know she wore glasses and contacts. And I know she be moving fast. Don't be paying attention to what she doing sometimes. So I'm like, okay. But at the same time, you got Nas running around so it's like i don't know what to do do we call 911 do we go drive ourselves to the hospital i don't know what to do so i just called 911 and trying to keep calm because she like losing it like go you can tell like what's going through your mind at the time of me trying to call 911 and help you so at this point i'm kind of freaking out because i'm thinking i'm about to be blind um throughout the week i had already had like crazy thoughts about my eyes crazy thoughts about like not being able to see i literally was just staring in eyes one day i was like oh my god you're so beautiful and then the thought crossed my mind of like what if i'm ne ne never able to see him again and so 
Two. When I could put Me. the nail glue in my eye and I couldn't see, I called my Go. mom freaking out, y'all. Earlier that week, my mom, now I sent the picture of my mom, to my mom of me and him that we took early, early in the morning. And my mom was like, "What? are you okay? And I was like, yeah, it's early in the morning. I look pale. I look real pale on the picture. But she was like, no, it looked like there's something wrong with your eyes. So I'm looking at the picture. I'm like, I don't know what's wrong with my mom. Ain't nothing wrong with my eyes. Like I look normal on the picture to me. So that all of that was running through my mind. Like, oh my God, like everybody been talking about my eyes all week. I was thinking about my eyes this week. I was thinking like, what if I couldn't see? Like, is this a sign? Am I about to not be able to see no more? And I wasn't even thinking that I could really still see out of this eye. But this, this eye for some reason was not doing like what it was supposed to do it just closed up too so like both in that moment i thought i was blind i couldn't see out so of either eye do you feel like all of that stuff leading up to that event you saying you was having the signs from your mama saying something about it and you thinking about it you really feel like those were signs preparing you for what was to come I don't know if it was signs to prepare me or what's to come, but it all just kind of freaked me out because I was like, dang, people have been noticing my eyes more right. lately than normal. So, you know, and I know my eyes are kind of like big. They're not like regular size. So they kind of freaked me out. And I was like, gosh, like <laughs> my mama talking about my eyes. I said, but I called my mama. I was like, yeah, mama, I done up my eyes. <laughs> like yeah, this. so like, <laughs> let me, let me pick back up like mama. where my mom yes. said, so it's like she's panicking, going crazy and saying like, oh, my God, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. How did I do this? This is the worst mistake I ever did in my life. I'm going to go blind. I'm going to go blind. I'm about to go blind. So she frantic, panicking, yelling um, and like screaming and crying because obviously the, the nail glue is burning her eyes and she thinking she about to go blind. So in my mind, I'm trying to keep her from not scaring eyes because I know he'll get scared. If like he hear yelling or see her crying. So I'm trying to keep Nas calm, but also think about what do I need to do to help her. So I call 911 telling the operator what happened. And of course they want to ask you all of these questions. And I'm just like, man, just send help out here. But before they send help, they want to ask you a million co uh, questions. And so when we call 911, I'm thinking like, what can I do now? And I just thought about like getting a cold towel with some water. I think I got you an ice towel with some water and put that on your eye. Just waiting for 911 to um, send the first responders out or whatever. But at the same time, I'm thinking like trying to keep calm because you was really like going crazy almost like you about to go blind. And I'm like, just calm down, stay positive. We don't know what's going to happen yet. Like, just trying to keep, because I was scared you was probably going to faint or pass out or something like that. And that was going to be a whole nother issue. It's just, I've never been in a situation like this. So it's just, and when you got a kid with you, it makes everything that much more harder. Because it's like, I'm trying to tend to you, but I still got to watch out for Nas as well. So well, I was kind of It was just, a, I was stressed uh, out. I was kind of cognitive of Nas being in the room, so it was still like hard for me too, because I kept like, okay, yeah, I'm sorry Nas, like though. I'm sorry Nas, and calming down. And I did like try to flush my eye with water, but it was, I really Yo, don't I was know. Closed shut though. I know, but I'm it saying I don't know shut. how much glue fell in my eye. That's the thing because I had it tilt up like a, um, but it was one of those nail glue thingies with the point, so it's like. I wish I had the bottle still to show y'all, but it was one of the, it was made just like an eye drop bottle. So it had the little point at the tip at the end. So when, even when I'm looking at it as I'm going up to my eye and everything, it just looked like eye drop. But yeah, it was, it was a crazy experience. Um, I don't wish that on anybody. I was so mad at the fire department. It was a point where I was like so mad that I just started laughing because I was just like, what the hell? Like, yeah, how so did I do this? When like, the uh, first responders got there, they were very nice, but it was like, they quickly told unhelpful. us that it was nothing that they could do. So it was like, we really wasted time calling 911 and um, waiting on them. Basically, we, we really should have just got in the car and drove ourselves yeah. to the ER. But So that was making the panic even worse. Right. I'm like, I'll just sit here waiting for y'all. We then, waited for them to get there, and then we decided more. to wait for the ambulance. 
Because yeah. they called the ambulance when they told but us they, they didn't do No, that. they called the ambulance, but they didn't tell us right away that the ambulance couldn't help us. Until, yeah, yeah, that's like, true. Waiting a little longer, yeah. and it was like, and how long? They and they was, was like, like oh, oh well, well, they won't be able to do nothing either. It'll just be an expensive ride yeah, to the basically. ER. So it was like, man. And that was after they changed the wait time. So the first wait time that they told us when they got there was like, oh, like four minutes. And it went from four minutes to six minutes to eight minutes. So I'm like, at this point, just cancel it. Like, let's just go. So that was crazy. And even like in the neighborhood we live in, we're new to the area. So he really didn't know where the ER was. Well, I knew we have hospitals close by where we live. But my thing was, which one is open 24 hours? ER, the, emergency yeah, the ER. rooms are open 24 hours. I, I know. But, but it, I don't think you knew that it was the ER, like, closer. The one that, um, where the urgent care whoa, rooms. Whoa. The Wellstar urgent care? Yeah. That's I closer to us. I mean, it didn't come up. When I put in right. Google, like, ER that's open right now, it didn't come up. The closest one to us was, um, what it came up on Google Maps was, like, the Piedmont Hospital in Buckhead. It was on Peachtree Road, which was, like, 19 minutes from us. Which wasn't a bad drive time. It's just but in we had already waited for <laughs> yes. the um, ambulance. No, I was freaking out. I was so, on, yeah. um, so And the hospital, the emergency room experience was horrible. Like, I yes. wouldn't recommend anybody going to Piedmont's urgent emergency room. Hold on. Let's, room. Before you get to that part, we now, so now we've, let's, let's start pick up where, um, now the uh, first responders have told us is nothing that they can do. And now we we've decided ER. that we're going to drive ourselves to the ER. So yeah. now we have to actually get ready. So I'm trying to find your clothes. I had on, on clothes. Well, you he had on try, clothes. I had to get your socks, to put, like, shoes. Oh, put your shoes on. Because like, I know it was freezing cold. Go. And then I had to get Nas ready Mama. and then get myself right. ready to go. So there was a whole nother probably five or ten minutes. <laughs> then we got this. Go ahead and drive. I think, yeah, I think the whole situation was um, was a light bulb of like practicing for emergencies, yeah. just being prepared. Because for one, I don't really like wear pajamas and stuff like that to sleep because I get hot. So I'm like, now I just need to be prepared for anything, even for because that situation where we were waiting for the um, ambulance and stuff like that right. we should have been getting ready then because yeah, it's true. if the ambulance had to come pick us up or we were going to ride with them yeah. we still had to leave so we should but it, it's just them. like in stressful situations it's hard to think like that's why i was trying to like say stay calm because once you get stressed out and start panicking you can't really think shit. so that's what a lot of it was like it's like dang i don't know what to do like it was so much going on. Got Nas crying and screaming. You going through it, so it was, it was scary and stressful, man. So yeah, after all that, we finally get to the ER, and that experience was horrible. So the way it set up, like he drove, like yeah, I up drove there, up to the front, and, and I got out the car. Let you get out while I tried to park the car. I, I didn't want to wait to park. Like I've already waited enough time, and in my mind, the longer I wait, the less the chances of me are to see again. <laughs> So I'm really freaking out. Um, and when I hop out the car and I'm walking, I had to like kind of force this eye to open. So I'm literally taking my hand and opening my eyes so I can see what's going on around me. With the other hand covered like this, I'm in like a big coat and a long shirt and some house shoes and stuff. And I'm like, um, where's the entrance to the ER? It's like a lot of police officers, public service people standing outside. Yeah. They got They have on their police uniforms, but they also have like these yellow green like vests that say um what did they say was it public service or I don't know. it said something on there that no to make you know like they're there to help and so i'm like where's the entrance and the first guy was like oh it's right there and clearly my hand like this over my eye and my other hand doing like this so i can't see and i'm like okay i can't see like where he's like oh just walk straight so at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm just trying to get in. I get in, open the double door, the double door's open. It's a guy to the side and I'm like, thinking I'm checking in with him. He's like, oh, you need to go in. And I'm like, okay, where? He's like, make a left. And I'm like, I can't see. So at this point, I've said I can't see two times and nobody has like tried to help guide me in or anything. When I finally make it to the front desk, the guy's like, um, what's wrong with your emergency? At this point, I'm very frustrated because it's like nobody is taking like 
people come to the emergency room because of emergencies, right? So that was a very frustrating situation. He asked for my ID. He asks for my insurance card. And I have my purse, so I go to open it. And I'm just like doing this, y'all, because I can't see. Because at this point, I can't hold this. I, I can't force this eye open because I'm looking for what he's asking for. And I just pan started back panicking. Like, I can't see. I can't see. Like, I can feel myself getting faint at the, um, the counter. Like, I can feel my body just like ready to just give give yeah. out and finally he was like what's wrong and i'm like it's i was telling him what happened with the eye drops in my eyes and i started crying again i'm crying i'm making the sounds let me say i'm making the sounds like i'm crying but ain't no tears coming out my eyes because none of the eyes is open um it was it was just, it was just a frustrating situation so finally when he realized like okay he puts the band on my hand he says go sit over there and so let me um pause you guys if you just joining this live video please leave a like on the video leave a comment um and hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications we're live from dc right now we're in our hotel room we just came from dinner um and we just decided to go live on youtube to let you guys know what happened and um that's what's going on so we appreciate you guys tuning in man if you're just joining us so let me pick back up um even the fact that I let you walk in, dropping you off, I feel like that was a mistake. But it, again, when you're in a stressful situation like this, it's hard for you to think straight. If I could go back, like hindsight is 2020, I would have just pulled in, parked the car, um, left Nas in the car in his car seat, and walked you into the, um, the ER. Because as you said, it was already police officers out there. I could have been like, hey, my son is in the car. She she needs to get into the hospital. Can you keep an eye on my son, you know, right there in the car? And I should have walked you in to be able to tell them, hey, she got nail glue in her eye. She can't see you. Here go her ID or whatever to get you checked in. But I just couldn't think straight because it was just a stressful situation. In my mind, it was like, let me get you to the front door. You go ahead and walk in. And me and I are going to park the car. But that ended up being a stupid idea because she fainted which i didn't know until we got inside the hospital because by the time me and nas parked the car what well, because they had valet parking in in front of the uh, er but that took so long i'm like bro i never seen valet take so long to park the car so we had to wait for the valet guy to uh park us then when me and nas got in the hospital they had already took you back to the room so me and Oz get in the hospital. We're going to sit down, and the people sit down like, "No, nah, don't sit right there. It's bed bugs on the chair." I'm like, "What bed bugs?" Now, mind you, this is a hospital in Buckhead, so never did I expect to hear the word bed bugs in Buckhead. Um, it's supposed to be like a, a wealthy area in Atlanta, so a wealthy neighborhood. So that was just crazy. So we waiting in um, the lobby. I get um, Nas nah, some snacks, like a cup of water or um, body armor, and I get him some chips. And then somebody came to get us uh, to say, hey, are you the family of Charlita? Let's go to the back. And then we came there back where you was. Um, before that, though, so after I finally get checked in, and I said I couldn't see, and so I guess the guy behind the counter asked one of the police guys to come help me or whatever. And as he's coming, he's talking to somebody like, I really don't want to touch her, as if I'm dirty, like, not even dirty, as if, like, I'm a... Um, that's when you had passed out? That's before. Like, he's supposed to help me get to the seat so okay. that I could sit down. But at that point, I was just like, bruh, like, help me. Like, I'm getting frustrated, and I'm like, I don't even know what to say or what to do clearly is something wrong but i'm thinking they thinking maybe i was on drugs or yeah, maybe something like that was going on because instead of helping me it was like i really don't want to touch it and that's when i started getting like even more upset because and you said you were hearing them say uh, like do you think she's faking, you think she's faking so it? what happened was after he finally I, I was like just grab my like i put my hand out like this just grab my arm and guide me so when he finally grabbed my arm and that's when I finally felt like I had help, and I guess that's when my body was like, "Okay, I'm safe." No, and I don't, I just, teeth. I just went limp. So um, don't brush teeth in a minute. It happened Look, so fast; it's like interest. I just collapsed, and I just remember hearing everything fall out my purse. And then as I sat there for 
it felt fast to me, but then like the nurse who ended up helping me in the back room, she came and she was, I heard her talking to me. She was like, it's okay, sweetie. Like you can get up. Like they tried to lift me, but I, I wasn't, I wasn't there. Like I'm hearing them, but I'm not being able to do anything. So when yeah. I finally was able to get off the ground and sit in a chair and they got me to the back room. Um, well, when they sent me in a chair, I heard somebody say, do you think she's faking? And I was like, oh, this is an ER. Like, That's you know, crazy. I see stuff like this all the time. Yeah. But for me, that was very... Um, yeah, it was. that was just... Frustrating. It was for, just rude because you don't know, like, who I am, what, exactly. what type of power I it have. Like, or where whatever, is the humanity? So. Like, at least from the staff, like, even if she was faking, but what if she's not? Like, just help her. Like, you see... I mean, it, it's crazy. Like, and obviously, I didn't know none of this um, until I got back to where you were. You told me what happened. Yeah, I that think you it was and from that. just just finally feeling like I was in a safe space because I finally felt like I had help. I guess my body felt that way because I didn't feel safe. Like these people, were like, is she faking? Sorry, like not wanting to even touch and then you me to said get me in the all seat. All of your stuff fell out of your purse. Yeah, uh, everything fell out the purse. Um, I heard it hit the ground. Luckily, the nurse, like I said, she was there. I can't remember her name. I said it over and over a million times, but for some reason, it went away. Like it was like Ab, Abba something, Ida something like that. But she was super nice. And when she finally got me back to the room. I um well she didn't come back first it was like a doctor or maybe another like nurse practitioner and she was just rude to everybody just was rude up until I got to the point where I got to that nurse that one nurse who just changed everything and like she helped me she was very nice and I really didn't get to see her I never got to see her face because I couldn't see but then um yeah she she was really nice and she asked I was like my family's here can you go please go get them they were parking the car and that's when she went to got them, get them or whatever. Um, everything else after that was just like, it wasn't, it wasn't painful, but it was just uncomfortable. So the contact in the eye, like them trying to open my eye was uncomfortable. Them putting the contact that um, did the flush was a little uncomfortable. When it starts to run out of the saline, very uncomfortable. Um, <laughs> when they were finally like, oh, you're good to go home. I was like, I know y'all said I can go, but my eyes still hurt. <laughs> like, what can we do? But basically, it just took time because today is the first day I feel like I can open my eyes without having to take the medicine or put the cream on there. Like, everything feels back to normal. It doesn't feel gritty or like anything is in my eye. Um, the light still kind of bothers it. So I'm kind of like moving them all over the place just to not be so irritated and the but, swelling has gone down a whole lot too because yeah. your eye was like super swollen yeah it was swollen it's also kind of still like a slight kind of like slanted a little bit so i can tell that it's not back all the way total normal yeah. but today felt good um compared to all the other days and apparently i'm not the only one so that made me feel yeah good. um it was a lot of people on tiktok and instagram and um facebook once we posted uh the pictures of what happened or whatever it was a lot of people saying hey this happened to my mother who wears glasses and uh contacts or uh it was another girl that said her hairstylist accidentally knocked over a bottle of um hair products or chemicals or something and it splashed in her eyes so she had to get the same thing done mm -hmm. so this has happened to a lot of people um even at the eye doctor so i had to go to a specialist the next day and they kind of just made sure that my eyesight was still there everything was good and would heal good and he told me that it would heal good he told me um 28 to 48 hours before the pain kind of started to go away but it still hurt it was a little painful into up until today keep your hands to yourself Okay, he's gonna fall. But he also said, like, yeah, I've had a patient who accidentally poured the nail glue in their two year old's eye. And I was like, cool, I'm lucky it wasn't us. So, um, it was a painful experience. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. So, hold on, was it? Yes. How does the audio sound, you guys? I know the last time we did a live stream, it was kind of sounding like an echo. So, uh, hopefully, this audio sounds good. If you can, in the live chat, put a thumbs up if the uh, audio sounds good. In the live chat, please give me a thumbs up if the audio is good. It's like 21 people watching right now. So, let's put a thumbs up in the live chat uh, if the audio sounds good. Ooh, nothing more I hate when YouTubers repeat the same thing over and over. <laughs> That's three times. 
<laughs> but no. Okay, I'm, thank you guys. I'm uh, better today. Um, shout Belinda out to Linda and BB. Thank you so much shout for giving out me the to thumbs up, doctor, because he said that it happened before, and I kind of feel like at ease because I'm like. This is selfish to say or even to think, but I'm like, I'm so glad it happened to other people because they know what to do so that I don't have to, like, be in a painful situation or be an experiment type person or whatever. So, I'm just glad that it's, it's not as bad as I thought it was because I thought it was bad. Yeah. And you're glad you didn't go blind, obviously, because that well, was that's like... The, that's the bad part. Excuse me. That was like your main thing. Like I'm about to go blind. I'm about to lose my eyesight. Like well, because that that's what I mean by it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Because that's what I thought. I thought yeah. I was gonna not be able. That's to That's what I was trying to tell you. Just so, stay positive and calm. Because it was like you was thinking like the worst thoughts, well, the worst possible outcome. Like you wasn't trying to be like. Um, I think what happened. You was thinking the worst automatically. Like. So if you ever seen This Is Us, they play a game of like worst possible scenarios. I kind of like that because when those <laughs> things don't happen, then it's like, whoo, all right. <laughs> the worst thing didn't happen, so everything else is going to be okay. <laughs> so, yes, but I'm good. I'm glad to be, and I'm glad that they were able to come with me on the trip for work because I really wanted to come. And so everything worked out perfect, even though they had to be. Yeah, the only thing I... I'm kind of frustrated with is I didn't we, we was already planning to come to DC but uh, I wasn't planning on being the driver for a majority of the trip so since she had the accident I had to assume the role of being the driver because I was trying to film like you know b-roll footage of the city get footage of us driving around DC but uh it is what it is man accident happened so it's not really her fault I can't blame her for that but uh DC so far has been love, man. I had a lot of fun here. I'm glad we got a chance to come and experience this together as a family. Nas, first time in DC. Your first time in DC. My first time in DC. It's been great. It was hate. Yeah. yeah. We went to the White House today or tonight. Um, and I think in the morning before we leave, we're going to go to the Lincoln Memorial. Come say hi. Before we get on our flight. Say hi, Angel. But, uh,. We took Nas to the Smithsonian uh, Museum, the Air and Space Museum. If you guys follow us, uh, well, no, I think I posted. Did I post that video? No, I didn't post on YouTube. I think I posted um, some pictures on Facebook and Instagram of Nas outside the museum. But uh, Nas got so much love in DC, man. These people love Nas. Everywhere we go, like, it was just people. Um, Saying how cute Nas was and how well dressed he was. He got so much love out here in DC. Okay, I'm letting go. And Nas is super social too. He's been waving and speaking to everybody. It's crazy. Uh -oh. So thank everybody for all the well wishes yeah. and checking in on me. I really appreciate it. I wasn't expecting that at all. Um so yeah, that was really nice to see. Um heartwarming to see. I got I kinda got a like different take on it, like I was kind of like, I feel like people are more drawn to like bad news kind of. It's like, I don't know. It was kind of weird for me. Like, I know people was concerned about your well-being and stuff like that. Like, genuinely praying for you and wanting to see you happy. But some of that, I felt like people are like, they only speak up when you're in the, your worst position. Or they want to see you at your lowest point. So, it's kind of like people be watching the pages and stuff and then... I don't know. It was weird for me, man. But maybe I'm just taking it the wrong way. Like, But I feel like people are... Even the uh, videos we posted on TikTok, they got like a million views in like two days. But when we post positive stuff like Nas um, doing circle time or a learning a lesson or something positive, like people never click on those videos <laughs> to watch. So it's just weird for me to see... People are drawn to uh, okay, negativity, but that's just the internet, man. I can't really take it personal. Like, you want to see the train wreck. Like, people pay attention to a train wreck. Even though it's, like, a horrible situation, you still stop and see, like, the accident as you're driving along the road. So, I guess it's just a human thing. I don't know. I think people probably was really like, what the F? Yeah. Because <laughs> I was that's trying to... Just curious about... Watch your head. I was trying to figure head. it out myself, like, how. But, like I said, I couldn't see. And I was feeling around for stuff instead of looking or asking for help. Because I could have just asked for help. But sometimes I just don't okay. want to bother people. Even though I know... 
Like, he'll probably come help me. I'm just more of like a, like, let me do it myself because I want stuff done when I want it done and not 20 minutes later type person. Yeah, I definitely so. wish um, she would have just asked me to come help her, especially since Mama, you were saying you couldn't really see. You got so. a party? I got a poop. Oh, you got, got a poop. poop? Okay. Okay, Angels, we're going to end this live video. Oh. Nas just said he got to take a, a, a deuce. So we're going to take him to the potty and um, pack our stuff up and get ready to head back to Atlanta in the morning. So uh, appreciate y'all for watching this video, man.